Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology, presented by yours truly, Ron Berger. Today is October 4th, 2015. So let's take a look at the week that was and how the planet's positions in the zodiac matched up with the past week's events. Since mid-September, Mars and Jupiter have been together in the zodiac in the sign Leo. Mars is the planet of combat combined with Jupiter, planet of beliefs, and both are in the self-centered sign Leo. Then, last week, Venus joined in. Venus plus Mars equals passion. So now, we have an energy pattern for people passionately fighting for their beliefs. And there were plenty of examples of people and groups pushing their own ideologies last week. The pro-capital punishment and anti-capital punishment camps were added again over the execution of a Georgia woman convicted in the killing of her husband. Even Pope Francis weighed in on the anti-capital punishment side. Nonetheless, the woman was executed. In another case, in Oklahoma, the condemned got a reprieve due to some kind of mistake with the lethal drugs. Mercury retrograde strikes again, but in Virginia, yet another killer was not so lucky. Meanwhile, the Congress critters in Washington were squaring off over funding for Planned Parenthood, which is really about that organization's pro-abortion activities. The head of Planned Parenthood Parenthood held her own in a four-hour grilling from conservatives in Congress who failed to get enough votes to defund the group. And then, of course, there was the mass shooting in Oregon last Thursday and how that again stirred up the opposing ideologies on gun laws, which sallied forth with their arguments for and against gun control in our supposedly civilized country. By the way, this combination of Mars plus Venus plus Jupiter will be with us all through October. In fact, it gets more intense towards the end of the month when the planets are more nearly on top of each other. Mars is the planet of action, war, and destruction. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, confidence, and beliefs. Leo is the sign of leaders and governments. The combination gave President Putin the boost he needed for beginning direct military involvement in the Syrian conflict last week in the form of Russian warplanes bombarding targets all over Syria. Under the cover of going after ISIS, Putin is evidently targeting any of the various groups who are trying to take down his buddy Bashar al-Assad. Let's take a look at Putin's astrology chart. And here we see that the Mars-Jupiter combination in Leo energy pattern is affecting his 11th house of goals and ambitions. A pretty obvious connection. Further, the 11th house is also the house of friends and associates. That would be Assad. Mercury is the planet of information, and therefore the media. When Mercury is retrograde, backwards in the zodiac, the media can get the information wrong. After he had returned to Rome, news came out that Pope Francis secretly met with that Kentucky clerk who went to jail for refusing to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples, evidently to give her his encouragement. Sounded like the Pope's belief in acceptance of others didn't extend to full rights for LGBT people. But then it turned out that the truth was rather different. 
In a statement on Friday, Vatican spokesman Reverend Federico Lombardi said that the pontiff had met with several dozen people at the Vatican's embassy during his visit to the U.S., and his brief meeting with Kelly should not be considered a form of support of her position. Mercury retrograde tends to bring up communications from the past. It's also a good time for doing things you have been meaning to do but haven't gotten around to. Mercury, as the planet of communications, also represents social media on the Internet. Last Tuesday, Edward Snowden joined Twitter using the verified handle, at Snowden. Snowden amassed more than one million followers in the first 24 hours. He was following only one account, the NSA. And the NSA did not immediately follow him back. Well, that'll do it for this week's Review of the Week. You can keep up with daily astrological developments and contribute your own thoughts by following me on Twitter at Astro News Report.